Welcome back. The college basketball season is a grind for student athletes and coaches. In between games, practices, there are study sessions, film review, and road trips. Just last week, you or I traveled to play rival UMass on the road in Amherst. Coach Dan Hurley was nice enough to let us come along for the ride and see what real, really transpires on the road with the Rams. Here's Mark Dondero. For URI basketball, game day on the road begins like any other day would, with breakfast. The food most of the time is normally pretty good. Uh, it depends where we go. We can go more down south. It's, it's, it's different types of food that we get, but around here it's always pretty good. I don't really like eating breakfast early in the morning. When I don't like to try to eat too much because I know we have shoot around, so I don't like to fill up my stomach before shoot around. As for the head coach, he's a guy that clearly likes his morning OJ, but even if he's a little tired from the late night arrival, he can take comfort in the fact that he's coaching mature college men. As a high school coach, I, uh, I used to sit in the hallway you know, until around 2 a.m to make sure no one left their room and uh, you know to try to protect the guys from themselves we have curfew uh, and then we're fortunate um, you know that we have a good group of guys and you know and, and we also we recruit good people and even on the road those good people still need to be good students obviously you know the ability to have study hall on the road you know when these guys are missing classes is is, uh, is an important part of it most of the time you got study hall on the roads today we didn't just because uh um, our, our advisor had a certain situation she had to take care of, but most of the time we have a have study hall and we got to get the work done. But there's no studying at the morning shoot around, which sounds kind of casual, but really it isn't. Um, our shoot around is most of the time pretty intense. It's just to polish up our, our skills and our scouting reports, stuff like that, go over. Um, certain scouting points, what we're going to do in the game, and just get some shots up and get loose a little bit. I think it depends. It depends on the time of year. It depends on the mood. It depends on the opponent. You know, there are times where you, you try to get, you try to put together a looser, uh, you know, shoot around. You know, for guys when they seem tired or, or, or down, you try to make it a little bit more fun. And, and uh, you know, when you really know you need to get their attention based on your opponent and how they play, you know, then it's obviously a little bit more detailed. After shoot-around concludes at about 12.30, the players have a little downtime before the pregame meal later that afternoon. I like to get a nap in before the game. That's something I like to do, but besides that, that's it. Once 3 o'clock rolls around, it's time for a quick video session and a pregame bite. It's the last food the team will eat before tip-off. Around that time, I'm pretty hungry, so I just try to uh, eat as much as I can so I can have enough energy for the game. So, uh, like in the fourth quarter, I have enough uh, energy to go out there and uh, make plays for my team. A little under two hours to game time, the team boards the bus and heads over to the arena. They'll make their way to the locker room, get their mind right and their clothes on before a pregame stretch and a very relaxed pregame shoot-around. Then finally, after a full day of build-up, it's time to go. Take it to him. Let's go, man. Let's go. Hey, let's get back to what we do, fellas. Same, same energy, enthusiasm as last game, baby. We did. You know why we won that game? Y'all know why we won that game? Because we did it for each other. We did it for one another. Talk to him, too. You know what I'm saying? Talk to him, T. You had my back. Uh -huh. I had your back. Let's get it? Uh -huh. And that's how we won the game. Okay? Okay. So we got to do the same thing tonight. Let's get it. And let's. And let's, let's get it. Let's go, man. And I can't get it, I want to say, but let's go. Win on three. One, two, three. Wait, talk to him, team. That was Mark Dondera reporting. For all the behind-the-scenes access with URI, join Coach Dan Hurley and me every Tuesday night for Inside Rhode Island Basketball, 7 p.m. on MyRI TV.